So lately I've been doing these drawings that are close-up, um, close-ups of kisses, but they're also inspired by the facial structures that you see in Michelangelo or in the Roman frescoes or in Greek drawings. Uh, and I wanted to do a series of frescoes about them, and I did do some small mock-ups here of this particular one. It, these are, again, on wood panel. This is the wood panel. It's been in shows. And um, this, again, has the wood panel with the metal lath and two layers of plaster. And it's just a painting on top of, uh, you, on wet plaster, not this graffito. And here is another one, a smaller version of that as well. And I have, I, I like these okay, but I have some new ideas that I'm trying to think about how to do them. And so what I've done is I've done a bunch of drawings to see how they look. This was the first one. And so I've tried the line on different places of the paper and as I do these they're becoming less about the kiss even though you can kind of see the two faces and more about the expression of the line the kind of beauty of the direction of that line and how the if you're imagining two people how they come together here's another one a different version of that I found that the proportion of the paper is really important. These are rectangular, and so I would have to work with rectangular um, pieces of paper or rectangular uh, fre uh, fresco substrates. This is closest to the frescoes that I just showed you. And this one is more of a, I think this one's more illust illustrative rather than the joy of these lines. This one is kind of an early one that really reflects the, the struggle of pulling that drawing together. So the one I think I'm going to work with now is this one. I have two different versions of it that are pretty similar. But I have a piece of fresco that I've started that I want to do this with. So here I have it. This is actually a piece of construction foam that you can get at a big box store. And the, the lath is actually a netting. It's construction netting. And it's stapled. I have it stapled on the back and on the sides. The, side, the sides are important, but then the back keeps it all tacked down. This is the uh, strategy of hanging it. And this is what it looks like on the front. And what's nice about this is I have the fresco on all the sides. So it becomes almost like a rock. I'm going to go ahead and turn this this way because then it will show. So then I have here now the drawing on the fresco. This is uh, has two layers of plaster on it already. The first layer is called the scratch coat, and it has... Portland cement mixed in with the lime and the heavy, the coarse sand. And then the second coat has, is the Arecio that has coarse sand and lime, but no um, Portland cement. And this does have some flaws in the edges. And I think that I'm going to just go with that because I'm not going to frame this one. I'm not going to put the wood frame around it. And so I'm going to just go with it like this and see how this almost looks like a 
cut out of a wall. So I th I'm thinking about this and I really don't have a solution for it yet, but I do believe I'm going to do this graffito and black uh, with and white and just have this line be kind of carved into it similar to how I did these drawings, but I will have it be a line. And I'm kind of thinking of these kiss drawings in, in fresco as kind of cracks in the wall, how they, what they become when they're sgraffito. So we'll see. It's an unknown because I haven't done it yet. <laughs>